Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting from AOPA Summit in Tampa, Florida with some product minutes. We've seen a number of new products here at the show, not as many as we normally expect to see, but still quite a few. One of the most interesting is an upgrade for the Cirrus SR-22. There are a number of these aircraft out there, normally aspirated, and a new company called Next Dimension is offering an upgrade for this aircraft. Now that mod has an Avidon's Release 9, that's a new state-of-the-art EPIS. It also has a what's called a Gamispec engine, and here's Tim Rule with Tornado Alley to explain that. Okay, the Gamey Spec engine is a, a high precision, balanced, blueprinted, uh, newly overhauled engine that makes use of the best engine components available. And it's assembled by key engine overhaulers like Power Master Engines in Tulsa, who's been building these for us for several years. Uh, several of the components are unique in this engine, uh, such as the taper fin cylinders for improved cylinder head temperature control. Uh, several other features that are not yet uh, announced yet that will continue to evolve in this engine design that will help to accommodate our electronic engine control systems and provide for higher power, better cooling, better efficiency. Of course, not every aircraft needs to have a $250,000 upgrade. There are a lot of airplanes flying out there, legacy airplanes, that uh, can benefit from electronic upgrades of various kinds. And we're going to look at one here, which is the uh, uh, Oracle, the CRM2120, which is a, a specific engine monitoring system for a twin. This is intended to be an engine monitoring system for a twin and it can serve as primary instrumentation, which means that you can remove the existing fuel gauges and engine gauges and rely on this entirely. This will be available in two versions, a horizontal version for 300 and 400 series Cessnas and Barons, and a vertical version for newer Barons and Seneca 5s. This is a network modular design, which means that it has a data acquisition units out in the cells, and those wire into the display units here for the panel. The price on this unit is expected to be about $14,000, it will be available in early 2010. Uh, you, for more, you can contact uh, Ultra Electronics, who's one of our sponsors, at www.ultra-fei.com. Okay, so maybe you're not a customer for a $200,000 upgrade for a Cirrus or a $14,000 engine monitor. In that case, you might be interested in a, a little gadget here called the Glove Light. And this is for those of us who drop flashlights and they always seem to go back into the recesses of the airplane and we can't reach them. What this basically is, is a fabric glove that includes small, two small LED lights. The batteries are here. And when you ride, and we'll show a close-up of this, it illuminates the surface you're riding on. The LEDs uh, last for about eight hours of continuous use and much longer if you turn them on and off. And uh, you can find out more about this product from www.glovelight.com. It's 25 bucks here at the show or on online 24.95. Now some airplanes go fast and some airplanes carry a lot, but there aren't very many that do both. One of those is a Cessna 210. The only problem with the 210 is it hasn't been made for more than 20 years. Cessna Pilots Association has a solution to that, and here's John Frank to tell us about it. Okay, Paul, this is our Cessna 210 uh, Centurion Inspection Guidelines. We developed this as part of uh, the response to aging aircraft issues. And what we've done is we've taken uh, data from the FAA, from Cessna, from service bulletins, from service difficulty reports, and 25 years of our members' experiences reporting to us, and put them in uh, one source where a uh, owner and uh, his mechanic and inspector can sit down and take a asset uh, assess the aircraft for its age and its use and then pick the items that need to be inspected at this time uh, on this aircraft. And, and we think it's going to be a very valuable asset for maintaining 210s well into the uh, foreseeable future. The Cessna 210 inspection guidelines cost $60 from Cessna Pilot Association and you do have to be a member. The reason for that is John Frank sees this as a living document, so he wants to get uh, feedback from members who use the guide so they can improve it. And you can find out more by logging on to Cessna.org. That's Cessna.org. This is Paul Bertarelli reporting from AOPA Summit in Tampa, Florida. Thanks for watching.